We are dedicated to ensuring you stay at the top of your game, but know what video we have been missing, how to improve your aim while strafing in Apex Legends, especially since movement is the most integral part of the game. My name is Daz, and in today's video we're going to go over the top scenarios that incorporate movement while aiming, then piecing together the precision required while you strafe. Let us start with Wall Peak Expert Standard. This scenario has literally so many positive things going for it. First is simply wall peeking, which forces you to strafe out. Targets fire back, ensuring you cannot stay still, and those targets even move and crouch, providing a more difficult encounter. What you'll find here is a constant ability to strafe in and out of the fight. The reason why we are starting with expert level is that in Apex Legends, this is going to feel more status quo compared to the easier difficulties. But if you want to go to an easier difficulty, by all means, I just highly encourage the expert level and do not worry about obtaining a lower score because you don't have to really spam left and right. This is going to give the foundation of getting you used to moving. Now, strafe bot ultimate. As you load in in this exercise, you're going to use a nine millimeter pistol. The goal of the scenario is to work on your strafe while keeping a consistent shot on a humanoid target. This is now taking everything to that next level from the standard wall peak to constant strafing left and right. Even if the bot is not shooting back at all times, keep a constant left and right strafe to practice while ensuring you land consistent shots. This one is one of the more unique scenarios on the list because it has that humanoid target, so don't get complacent just because it might feel a little easier. Now it's time to break down Micro Star Track Precision. As you practice this playlist, take note that as you strafe spam, the adjustments required once you acquire your target are smaller than you think. If you find your aim is not stable or perhaps a bit shaky when adjusting for the track, this is the perfect moment to work on micro star track precision to improve those micro movements. Don't stress, relax, and focus on that micro movement. A little tip, playing relaxing music can be helpful in the scenario as a remind yourself not to tense up too much. Up next, Rocket Shot Ultimate. This is such a great scenario to improving strafes, but also on targets that are literally flying everywhere. This one is different from tracking a target that is strafing back and forth in front of you. So we focus heavily on micro adjustments, but we were adding a lot bigger movement before that precision is required. This will help you improve your accuracy while hitting targets that have higher mobility, such as Octane, Horizon, and Valkyrie when they hit the air. Don't be fooled because you will need to still be precise, especially when going for headshots in this scenario. Now it's time to discuss Horde Shot Standard. Now in this scenario, to maximize your score, it might be best just to stand still and hit the targets. But what we're going to do is spam left and right as you see on the screen. Your score is ultimately going to be lower, but that does not matter. What we're going to work on is the skill set of being accurate while you strafe. This scenario is so great because the enemies come in bulk, which helps you on your target switching, but also the opponents provide a nice smooth crouch to help you adjust for different levels of your aim to really push that micro precision. Now our final scenario for the day, free track ultimate. This is going to test your stability as you spam mouse one. The target is invincible and will test your endurance, but also push your stability as you spam clip the target. You will still shoot in a rhythm, but take note of how hard you are clicking and ensure you're still keeping your hand loose and relaxed. Find the in-between point. If you provide too much pressure or tension, this is going to impact the stability of your aim as you track, which will result in shaky aim. Not because your hand is shaky, but because you're putting too much pressure when you shoot. Now, I hope you found this video helpful today. What we covered is six detailed scenario regimen to help you master your aim while you track a strafe while strafing yourself. Your movement span can really help you clutch your 1v1s in Apex Legends. It can be one of the hardest things to practice. Now don't forget if you enjoyed today's video to leave a like, subscribe here on the official AimLab channel, and check out the description for everything AimLab, where you have a library of resources at your fingertips. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.